Finding equations of tangent lines to a curve at a particular x value is a task you will be asked to do several times in calculus. So first you have to remember how to find an equation of any line and you can use a few different formulas but my favorite is the point slope formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 where x1 y1 is a point on the graph so it's a point on your on your curve that you know and m is your slope okay so if you know the slope and you know a point on the line you can find the equation of a line well let's apply that to this particular example here what is the equation of the tangent line to this function at this x value well if I were to do just a, a rough sketch of this function right here it would look something like that and at x equals 1 that's there and the tangent line is going to look roughly like that if you were a better drawer it would look better than that alright so we know that there we we can figure out one point on our graph which looks to be um, 1, 0, but let's check. If I know my x value, I can find my y value by plugging in the x value to my function. So 2 minus 3 plus 1, that indeed equals 0. So I do know a point, 1, 0, that is on my line. It's on my curve and my line, because that's what the tangent line does. It passes through a point on the graph. All right, and so the next thing is finding the slope. And as we know there aren't two points for us to find the slope but what we just learned in previous videos is that this the slope of the tangent line is the limiting value of slopes of secant lines as I pick points on my curve getting closer and closer to the point where I want to find the tangent line okay so the slope of my tangent line is the limit and so let's say the tangent line at 1 it's going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 all over h. Remember that was all one of the ways we express that limit. Another way was the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x minus f of 1 all over x minus 1. Okay, and you can use either one to find this slope. I tend to like this one, so this is the one I'm going to use. It's a good idea for you to try this limit on your own to see if we get the same thing. See if you get the same thing. All right, so let's find this limit. So the limit is equal to, in this case, the limit as h goes to 0. So f of 1 plus h, that is 2 times 1 plus h squared minus 3 times 1 plus h plus 1. I'm about to run out of room here. Hmm. I'm going to erase this and move it over so we have a clear picture in the end. So I should always do mathematics in pencil. So m equals the limit as h goes to 0 2 times. Now what I'm doing here is replacing I'm inputting 1 plus h into my function. f of 1 plus h means I plug in 1 plus h for every x value. So 2 times 1 plus h squared minus 3 times 1 plus h plus 1 minus f of 1 and I already know what f of 1 is it's 0. So that's easy all divided by h. All right, now we need to clean this up and simplify. All right, so this is mm -hmm, limit h to 0, 2 times 1 plus 2h plus h squared minus 3 minus 3h plus 1 all over h. I got to keep going. Now it's tempting to not write the limit every time and to just write the expression you're working with but that's a bad habit to get into because then you're going to be equating things that aren't equal. So if I distribute I get 2 plus 4h plus 2h squared 
minus 3 minus 3h plus 1 all over h. Now let's see if things cancel. So notice I have a 2 plus 1, which is 3, and a minus 3. So that goes away. All right, now I have a 2h squared, so let's write this again, equals the limit as h goes to 0 of 2h squared plus 4h minus 3h, which is a single h, all over h. All right, we're going to need some more paper, so we're going to slide this up. insert this here. Okay, so now I have the limit. I'm going to factor out an h as h goes to 0. If I factor out an h on the top, I get 2h plus 1 all over h. I cancel my h's, and now I can do direct substitution. h goes to 0, and I'm left with 1. So in this case, the slope of my tangent line is 1 at the point 1, 0. All right, now it's just down to algebra. I have everything I need to write the equation of that tangent line. So remember, it's y minus my y value on, uh, of a point on the line equals the slope, which is 1, times x minus my x value. That's equal to y equals x minus 1. And that is the equation of the tangent line to our graph at x equals 1.